that I got really kind of uh, hung out the most with was Michael and and uh, Paxton because everyone loves Paxton. I mean, sure. everyone loves Paxton. And, and Paxton, is, his, his personality was just, it was, it, it, was con it was infectious. You know, when he would start talking and start joking around, it would just, it would just become infectious. But Paul Reiser was one of my favorites because Paul Reiser was a comedian turned actor. And I don't know if you heard the story about this, but when, from what he told me, he went on this audition with someone else and was not really supposed to audition. And he auditioned and ended up getting the part. And so it was a serious role, kind of serious role for him. But he, he's, 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 he was a comedian first. And in between times when we we're waiting, we would just talk. And Paul was always very interesting because his, his way of looking at the world is very different from a normal person. And until this, to this day, I look forward to when Paul, myself, my wife, and Paula, his wife, go out to dinner and just kick it and listen to him talk and talk his stuff and and find out what's happening with him because he he's one of my my faves on on the shoot. Yeah, it's interesting what you said about Riser because you know he they would have probably taken a different approach to that part today because he's clearly the heel from moment one, right? Yes. And he, to his credit, remains true to that. Like he never, like now they would have a moment where he like detonates something or shows up in some big heroic final hurrah, you know, before the curtain closes on him. But no, he's a douchebag right to the very right, end. Right, right to well, the bitter end. <laughs> yeah, he plays it with so much integrity right till when his head gets taken off or what we assume is his head getting removed or something to that right. effect. I say we grease this rat fuck son of a bitch right now. It just doesn't make any goddamn sense. He figured that he could get an alien back to quarantine if one of us was impregnated, whatever you call it, and then frozen for the trip home. Nobody would know about the embryos we were carrying. Me and Newt. Wait a minute now, we don't know. Yes, the only way he could do it is if he sabotaged certain freezers on the way home. Namely yours. Then he could jettison the bodies and make up any story he might. Fuck! He's dead. You're dog meat, pal! This is so nuts. I mean, listen... Listen to what you're saying. It's paranoid delusion. How, 
It's really sad. It's pathetic. You know, Burke, I don't know which species is worse. You don't see them bucking each other over for a goddamn percentage. All right, we waste him. No offense. No! You gotta go back. Just, right. and, and I always admire that because there's all these things that actors try to do for connectivity reasons with an audience, you know, and he's just like, nope, I'm going to be this treacherous bureaucrat that everyone hates and they're going to love to hate me. They're going to love to hate I'm going to play it to the end. I'm yeah. going to ride the wheels off this baby. <laughs> Good for him, man. Your road to redemption is paved with tombstones. No quarter, kill all masters. Go to no quarter, kill all masters.com. Rated R.